Hey everybody, um, I know this is a different layout or setup when it comes to uh, the movie dog show. Uh, you can see my face. Um, no, um, I wanted to do this little movie moments and movie memories in um, collaboration of uh, Star Wars Day, May the 4th, so maybe the 4th be with you all. Um, I would have had this done sooner, but we had a family tragedy and we had to, uh, I had to uh, make that the focal point and we'd had to uh, worry about that. I had to do a lot of things so my wife can help take care of her, her family situation. And, um, but I, I want to say, uh, as going around, and I've been here, and I still to this day, and, and it's been a couple years past since the, the last sequel trilogy film, the, the Rise of Skywalker had come out, and we still are constantly getting this fan backlash. And I'll admit, you know, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the sequel trilogy. Uh, and I've already said what I've said about those on on this on this film uh, on this, on those films on this channel. So if you want to go back and look at the old archives of the videos, but you know, I my favorite movie, one of my favorite movie moments and movie memories have been going to see Star Wars. I can remember as a little kid back in 1980, I was in kindergarten and being up in the front row, and you know there were some teenagers sitting next to me, and I felt like a big shot. And watching that scene where Vader's proclaiming I'm your father and and hearing a guy in the background going are you effing kidding me <laughs> and um, um and I remember that very well and and also you know I can remember the biggest memories I've had of watching Star Wars in theaters you know not just you know the, the special editions when they came out for their 20th anniversary and but when it came time for the anticipation of episode one you know, I stood in line six hours with my brother and his best friend, you know, waiting in line. You know, now I stayed in there for most of the six hours, but my brother, you know, him and his friend decided to go take what I call a little nature trail. And um, I, uh, I was so... The, the, the excitement and the adrenaline from that excitement... It kind of blinded me from, you know, not the best movie in the world, and episode one isn't, but just the, the sheer excitement of seeing a brand new Star Wars film of 16 years after episode, um, at the Return of the Jedi, and all that weight that we, we endured for, like, especially that first, almost a year, when the uh, trailer came out, that first trailer that we got to see, and seeing all those images and then sitting around in my uh, my room on my couch and on my kit my recliner talking to my brother and his friend Bobby and just speculating and and, and dissecting those scenes out of the trailer you know for for almost for months I, I can get I can tell you how many months we we talked about it and reading the Star Wars insider and buying the toys and then, of course, you know, a month or two before the film came out, you know, the episode one figures came out. But sitting there in that auditorium, that full year of wait, you're sitting right there and you're finally there and you're waiting and you're looking at that screen patiently and you're waiting to see, you know, the Fox logo and then the a long time ago and a galaxy far, far away and then hearing, you know, the music and then the big sign of Star Wars, that font, you know, where it comes flying off into space and you see in the opening scroll and actually seeing that scroll saying episode one. I, it's just so, it's so close to my heart. And plus, you know, I got to spend it with my brother and it's one of my favorite moments going to the movies with my brother. Even though we were still at odds or even around the nine, back in 1999. But 1999 was a strange year. It was the end of a crazy decade. Um, and we... It was like, basically it was the last year I was single. Because, you know, later on that year, that October, you know, I ended up started dating the woman I ended up marrying and still married to 20 years later. 
and but I, I nothing has really come close when it comes to movies uh, that movie feel since that night you know on, on May I think it was May 16th or May 19th I can't remember but it was in May of 1999 and uh, but I think the closest was is when I first took my kids to go see Star Wars when episode one got re-released in 3D and you know getting to have that feel of taking my kids to see Star Wars like my mom took me to go see the Star Wars movies in theaters and sadly she didn't live long enough to see the re-releases or see the rest of these films but you know that is one of my favorite moments going to the movies you know next to my favorite memory you know my favorite memory of course I've always said was you know my mom telling me that Superman was smiling at me at the end of Superman 2 but you know this is another one of those favorite moments and when it comes down to it folks when it comes down to these sequel trilogies don't worry about that even the people who don't even like the, didn't like the prequels are now jumping on the bandwagon of the prequels to justify the suckiness of the the, the sequel trilogies and yeah the sequel trilogy was poorly thought out poorly planned even barely planned and that I do think that Kathleen Kennedy does not have her pulse on this and that she's you know she's not a, I'm not saying she's a bad person or a bad creative person you know she's she's had hits under her wings and she's you know she's guided a lot of things you know projects but I do think that uh though we got Mandalorian and the book of Boba Fett was a little a little disappointing not that much but then they got Obi-Wan coming out so let Star Wars now belong to this generation those that are part of my generation and a little bit before my generation you know a little bit pretty much my same generation generation x we have the original trilogy we cherish those and of course we got those who have the, that grew up with the prequels you know enjoy the memories that you have because they only last for so long and then poof they disappear vanish just like a jedi knight does when they go on to the great beyond so cherish those memories folks cherish star wars for what it is fun entertainment an amalgam of all the different stories that have come around mythology and uh, all the different type of storytelling techniques and tropes and religions that got melded into this thing that george lucas crafted you know you know methodically and craft together and and did such a beautiful job putting together and writing and so, those are my thoughts. Those are my memories. What is your favorite memory going to the movies, seeing Star Wars? List it down in the comment section down below, folks. And please, please hit the thumbs up and like this. Uh, we're going to go back to our regularly scheduled setups of the channel so you don't have to see my ugly face anymore. So, um, but And, of course, later this month, there will be a lot of highlights from uh, Spookula over in, o in the... Um, a horror convention that's happening over in Ocala, Florida. So, I um, have plenty of footage from there. So, again, folks, like, subscribe, share us your favorite memories uh, and movie moments of Star Wars. And uh, again, folks, throughout the rest of the month of May, may the force be with you. Cherish your memories. Thanks for watching. Please keep on watching. Bye.